still asleep in my chair? Something that happens quite frequently in my little corner of the living room slash studio slash it's not really uh, is this. I have someone who just takes my chair and I have uh, nowhere to sit so instead of moving him like any normal person would I now have to move around my PC so I can stand up and work which is probably better for my health as on a Tuesday I'm chained to my PC. But here we go. So this is the camera that I use to film my plan with me's. It's a Canon 70D and I use the standard lens, a broken microphone and a pair of headphones. They're the three things that I need to film a voiceover. To fix this um, situation, I, now don't judge me, but take my pen pot, arrange the pens in a certain way, just like that. Take the microphone and you have to try and wedge it in the in the pens. Like that. And then it's like perfect height. Perfect microphone stand. Don't worry about the fancy expensive ones, just use the pin pot. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just finished up my voiceover. Hopefully, get this plan with me exporting before lunch because my daughter will be home for lunch and I'm hungry. and I'm just waiting for this to finish uploading onto YouTube. It's kind of uploaded, so it uploads first and then it has to process the video just in case you've never uploaded a video to YouTube. And the processing time says about 20 minutes, so I've got 20 minutes left to get all of my description and everything done and I still need to edit some Instagram photos for tomorrow. But if I don't manage to get my Instagram pictures done then I will show you how I do them tomorrow. Good morning everyone, today is a Wednesday, it's the 1st of April, no it's not, it's the 1st of May. So I have to find a new calendar for my desktop because I always have a monthly calendar on my desktop, I need to find a new one of those and I need to edit some Instagram pictures, I need to, can you just stand please? Um, I'm also doing orders today, Wednesday is an order day for me and I try to get as many done as I can and then I really 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 want to get round to making these poppet heads. Oh, I um, so to make the um, actual poppet head and then make a mold of, I bought some polymer clay, that was it, it's called polymer clay. This one's actually called Fimo, I don't know. But it's polymer clay, so I need to make the poppet head out of this, and then when this is like dried and all done, then I can make the mold to make the poppet head. So that is on the agenda today, hopefully. And while I'm sitting here talking, the postcards that we designed last week in our vlog, I've actually sent them off to be professionally printed, which I've never done before, but I just think it will give it a nicer finish and a nicer quality for you guys for, like when you get your orders, it will be just a nicer quality thank you card. So right now I'm just editing some photos for Instagram and I use Lightroom. So I obviously don't have to do a lot to them because when I take my photos, I'm normally doing it with my lights that I film with. With this one, obviously the brightness is okay. I do have um, some like, what are these called, presets that you can kind of flick through and choose from. I don't often use them. You can see like little marks on my desk, which we do not want. Let me zoom in so I can show you. See, these little marks 
they're actually the white bit come off of my desk so I need to remove those Hold music. Thank you for your patience. You are currently number one in the queue. If you... Hello, thank you so much. Thanks, bye. I was on hold for so long for a two minute conversation on the phone. Getting back to work. So before I get on and do some orders, I've just opened Photoshop because I'm going to design my own desktop calendar for May. And then I'm going to put it up in my Facebook group for you guys to download if you want to use it on your PC as well. Let's get on to it. I um, need that pen to write my orders in, Marley. So machine is cutting in the background. I'm doing all of your orders today and I am sitting here writing the envelope. So if you haven't had a delivery from me before then, I hand write all of my envelopes. So I have to spread myself out on this table to write envelopes and then spread out the papers and the stickers to cut up there. So I'm gonna keep running backwards and forwards, but I'm just gonna sit here and write some of the envelopes out for all of your orders and hopefully making it down to the last post. What's the time? It's a race against time. Okay, I'm going to make a really, 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 really quick dash to the post office. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Wish me luck. I didn't make it. They weren't actually due to go, but I like to try and do them early, so then it's like a nice surprise for you guys. So it's not that they're going to be late, it's just I didn't make the last post, so. Oh well. You want some breakfast? I'm 
just editing the vlog from yesterday which was Wednesday because today is Thursday so I'm just editing yesterday's vlog which you would have just seen so it is a little bit later in the day it's actually nearly half 11 I got up this morning started editing the vlog so far and also I have been doing orders the cutoffs here which I will pick up in a minute as we all know that I don't have a bin so thank you guys so much if any of you placed an order with me this week or last week Honestly, it means so much to me because without you ordering it from my shop, I wouldn't be able to do what I love, which is designing and creating and packing up all of your orders. And I am so grateful and I could go on, but we do know that I ramble a lot, so um, I won't, but thank you. So I was trying to get all of these done by lunchtime so we can make these poppet heads. I am nearly through. I've got about six sheets left I think to print and cut. It's also my dad's birthday today so happy birthday Grandad Poppet and I kind of wanted to try and illustrate a Grandad Poppet and maybe a nanny or grandmother Poppet as well because it's my mum's birthday or grandma's Poppet's birthday on Saturday so I want to try and get round to illustrating those as well so maybe I'll do that while I'm waiting for the polymer clay to kind of go hard and do whatever the magic is that it's got to do before I can then turn it into a mould. So hopefully, yeah, I'm going to be illustrating some grandparent poppets. And I'm really excited. I get excited about everything. <laughs> orders I'm now about to run to the post office to post them all. I want to have a look and see if I can get one of those scratch off maps that you'd be going to travel the world because my poppets are literally spread all over the entire world from England to New Zealand to America, they've been Germany, they've like literally everywhere so I would love to scratch off every time someone new pops up and it's like my little poppets travel map. I can probably come up with a much better title than that, but anyway, I am about to run to the post office to post some orders and we're going to make some poppet heads. to where I normally film my plan with me's and I've got some of the polymer clay and you have to like warm it up so I just have to knead it. I did print out some um, poppet heads, number one as for like a reference with some different faces on and number two as a kind of a size guide. So I was looking around and found this key ring and I thought oh that's a nice size so that's kind of like this kind of size but then I thought this is going to be too big because this is like a key and that might be too big and I think this one is going to be a little bit too small for like a standard key so I think I might go for like this middle one this shape seems to be a good size I think that's one that I'm going well that's one that I'm aiming for so it'll be about this big it's just under three centimeters is how wide it's going to be That 
was so hard, really hard, much harder than what I thought it was going to be. Obviously they look a bit weird because um, they're not in colour or anything and the eyes kind of look like eyebrows. Um, yeah, it was so hard. Uh, excuse me. So we might have to go back to the drawing board on this, but I'm going to carry on and see how they turn out. They might look alright once, you know, they've got colour on them and you can see that they are actual poppets. Um, I bought this little sticker in um, just for reference to the mouth. The thing is, when I'm trying to do the mouth, it just doesn't, it does not look good. <laughs> it looks like it's poking its tongue out, so, hmm. But anyway, we're going to bake this and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so I've just put the oven on to bake the little poppets. I'm not sure if these are going to come out exactly like, I nearly squished that one, how I want them to go. So I might have to do it a different way, but I'm just going to bake it according to the instructions on the pack. So if you ever get any polymer clay, you just have to look on there and it will tell you how to cook it. And then I've got to wait for the resin to come in the post before I can actually make them. And then hopefully everything's here and then we can do the mould and do a resin and see how they turn out. Oh my god, I nearly had a pop emergency. Are you done yet? Oh, they've got 11 minutes, Marley. They've got 11 minutes to go. No impressed. So they haven't really changed much, like literally at all. But now we just have to wait for it to um, cool down. I want to touch them, but they're going to be hot. Oh, I had a delivery today. It was a cat in a box. Not really. I had a delivery today. Today is Saturday. So I'm going to add this on to the end of the vlog. But we have got our cards. Excited? Mm-hmm. Me too. Okay, so these are the two. I got 50 of each, like I was saying. So this is the first one. Look how amazing they look. They are glossy and they fit. Excuse me. Just shush a minute. They feel amazing, guys. I'm so pleased that I've done this. So that is the first one. And that is the same one. Hang on. And there is the second one. They look and feel so good. <gasps> yes. So these will be going out with your orders now. And if you have a favourite one, leave me a note when you place an order. If there's one that you prefer. And I'll do my best to give you that one. But yay! So that's it for this week's studio vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming next week but I will probably film the week after, so there might not be a studio vlog go up next week. There's a couple of new things that I want to bring to the shop as well, like sticker-wise, so um, I probably won't do that next week, which is why I was saying I will film the week after. But thank you so much for all of your support during my weekly vlogs. I'm so pleased that you guys enjoy them because I really love filming them and I love sharing things with you and I love getting your feedback as well. I'm now off to go and poke the polymer clay to see if that has set yet. I know it hasn't, but I'm just like, I want things and I want them now. <laughs> Hopefully I won't um, destroy them. I hope you guys have had a lovely week and I will speak to you on Tuesday. Bye guys!